so it's me your little boy something i have something special unique for us you know thank god that it did not work out because it was not your part let me tell you Jesus. thank god that that friendship did not work out you know you have to thank god that that relationship did not work out you have to thank god that you know that would that job that you were fighting for doing all your possible best to do what to hold did not work out thank god that that would that occupation that association did not work out because let me tell us you have no idea why god allow it not to work out you have no idea why god suddenly create you know disagreement between you and your friends you have no idea why god you know exposed some people around you by creating a disagreement you have no idea why that relationship that you were doing all your possible best to make sure it work. You have no idea why God decide to lock it. You have no idea why God allowed that marriage that you are into or you were hoping to enter. Why God block it? Let me tell you, the Bible makes us to understand that he will never bring something that is greater than us. Meaning that God is the one that order your footstep. And you may be thinking that what you are thinking to, to for yourself is better. But let me tell you, the thought of God for you is much more better than the one you have within you. This is why you should not be annoyed when some certain stuff did not work out the way you were hoping. This is why you should not be bothered when the thing you were hoping that it will come to you did not come out the way you are. You do what you hope and you earnestly do what expected. Because God's plan is greater than our own plan. You know, look at it. Many of us are uh, maybe annoyed within us, you know, angry within us, mad at ourselves because some certain stuff that we were praying for it to work out did not work out. Because many of us think that that is the best for us. That is the greatest thing that, we, that ought not to happen. But God take it down. You know, let me tell you a story of mine. There was a place that I was working in years back. That place was so good, so nice. But suddenly, misunderstanding come out. I was pursued away. I was asked, not that I was asked to leave, by the way, but because of the lies, the betrayed, the ungratefulness, I decided to walk out. Because I was telling them the truth, but they do, they were like, they don't want to hear the truth. And after that, they pursued me. And all my friends who were there were mocking at me. But at the end of everything, I was asking myself, that means after all that happened in that job, that means God is the reason why all those things occur. Because what I get after all those stuff, I was just like, that means God was not even bothered about the job that I was so addicted to, meaning I love it. God was not even in, uh, interested on it. God was not even after that job. I was crying. I was sharing tears, praying, but there is no solution. But after everything, I come to ask myself when 
some certain things occur. I said, oh my God, that means God take me away from that. God take the, the what, the, 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 the how would I put it? God take like my, my, my flesh, he remove it and allow the blood to be flowing. I was shocked. But after everything, I realized that he make another flesh that is better than the flesh I have. That I was thinking that is so precious. I was, I, I'm using this as an example. So you need to understand that the reason why God allow it not to work is because he have something more special than that which you thought or you are thinking that is more special than ever. So anything that occur in your life is for the glory of God to be manifest. Is for the you know the mightiness of God to be manifest. You know God will not allow something that is greater than you, that will not take you to the other level to come upon you. So you need to understand that it did not work out. Meaning God is the cause why it did not because He have a place. He have someone that he want to use to occupy that place he will have someone that he want to use to occupy that relationship he have kept someone that he want to use to occupy that with that position he have something that is greater than that which you have lost because many of us have lost our job and all we are blaming ourselves not knowing that God have a greater job that is ahead of that job, you are thinking that is so important. So what am I trying to tell you? All that you have lost, all that happened to you, God is indeed aware. He know where he will use that thing to take you to. He know the benefit that will come out from that, or that thing that you are going through. So you don't need to be upset with you. You don't need to be annoyed with you. You don't need to be angry because the thought God has for you is greater than the thought of your enemy. Remember blessed, may God bless you.